I want to share with you the research on how to smell attractive naturally. I'm also going to share with you specific research on how to smell good to women and some ways to overcome body odor naturally. Also, one thing you don't want to miss is who smells better to women in blind sniff tests. See, scientific research has been done on this. They've looked at when men are eating meat versus when they go on a vegetarian diet, who ends up smelling better to women? Hey everybody, Chad Cruiser here with Health and Homestead. We talk about physical health, we talk about mental health, we also talk about homesteading, raising your own food, living in the country, and by the way, did you know women, according to research, are actually more interested in the way a man smells than what he looks like. So this is good news for a lot of people out there. And this is the actual scientific study, so you can look it up for yourself. But sure enough, women are more interested in the way men smell than the way they look. Now what's very fascinating is what body odor comes from. In part, it actually comes from your genetics. Not everybody actually has body odor. Turns out that it comes from a gene called ABCC11. And those who have this gene emit from their pores sweat that has a certain compound in it that makes certain stinky bacteria or bacteria that end up stinking when they metabolize the sweat of certain individuals. But not everybody has this. Turns out that when it comes to women, some women of European descent, about 98% of women have the gene that causes them to have body odor, which means that 2% of certain women of European descent, 2% of women uh, in this certain Caucasian group don't stink when they sweat. But it turns out they've actually researched those women and about 75% of them wear deodorant anyway. They probably don't know they don't stink. They just figure they do because that's what everybody does. But researchers have also found out that many of the East Asians do not have the stinky gene. It's not properly called the stinky gene. It's properly the ABCC11 gene. But actually when it comes to Koreans, hardly any Koreans have it. So most Koreans simply don't stink. So high five to all my Korean friends. Congratulations to you for being one of the great cultures that doesn't stink. But for the rest of us, like myself, I haven't been tested for it, but I know I have the stink gene. So uh, I have to do things to make sure I don't stink. We're gonna talk a little bit about that. Researchers have actually looked at body odor and discovered that some individuals can actually tell someone's character based upon smelling their garments. So multiple studies have been conducted revealing that people can tell certain character traits of other people simply by smelling their clothing. Characteristics like extroversion, dominance, and especially neuroticism have been shown to be predicted simply by smelling a garment. So the study kind of works like this. All they do is they, they have somebody wear their clothing and they wear it for a certain amount of time, then they have them take it off their shirt and then they hand that to somebody else. Well, they don't just walk up and hand it to someone. They actually take that, the researchers do, and then they take that garment. So somebody may never even see the individual. They just smell their garment. And by smelling that clothing, they can say, wow, that guy's neurotic. <laughs> it's kind of interesting to think that somehow even someone's smell may reveal something about their character. But did you know that certain clothing is more prone to make you smell bad. Here's some research on polyester versus cotton. Researchers looked at 26 men wearing either cotton or polyester t-shirts. They were put on an intense one hour long stationary bike exercise regimen. It turns out that polyester causes a higher growth of a certain bacteria that is associated with a foul odor. It, it also turns out that cotton is a better fabric if you are looking to smell nice. So we do know that certain clothing like polyester may have a negative impact on our smell and therefore maybe on our social interactions. So better to wear more natural clothing like cotton. And by the way, if you want to smell the best, you may have noticed this, maybe you haven't. And if you're one of those folks without the gene, you haven't noticed this because you don't stink. 
but for the rest of us, sometimes you may have noticed that you even go to shower and you still don't smell quite right afterward. Sometimes what is necessary is for the process of exfoliation. Now, exfoliation is the process of using something to actually scrape or rub off some of the dead skin cells. And there's, you can either use something called a loofah, you can use one of those scrubbing pads, or even sometimes something as simple as a washcloth can actually be abrasive enough to actually scrub the dead cells that may be harboring some of that, well, foul, foul, foul smelling bacteria. Another simple thing, obviously most people simply wear deodorant, but if you're one of those people who you say, hey, I, I don't, I don't want to use deodorant, but I also don't want to stink, but I'd like to use something natural. The good news is there are simple natural things that you can do, one of which is simply taking lemon juice and putting that on your underarm, and that can actually kill that acidity, will simply kill the bacteria and keep you smelling fresh in a very natural way without maybe things like the aluminum that you might be having in antiperspirants. According to the research, they say it doesn't cause Alzheimer's or breast cancer, but even so, adding additional amounts of aluminum to my body, I used to do it all the time growing up. I've now decided, hey, I don't wanna take the chance uh, for Alzheimer's, even though the research seems to say that it doesn't cause it. For me, I'd rather just do something that doesn't have the aluminum in it, but really, that's up to you. But using simple, lemon can actually make a significant difference. But what about the meat? What about the vegetarians? Who actually smells better to women? Here's a study right here in Chemical Senses on the effect of meat consumption on body odor attractiveness. So the question is, who is more attractive? Here's how the research was conducted. 17 men who were called odor donors. Wouldn't it be nice to be an odor donor? <laughs> what did they find? Some would be on a vegetarian diet for two weeks, and others would eat a diet of red meat for two weeks. 30 women were to smell a pad that the men had had under their armpit to collect their body odor the last day of the two-week diet. At the end of the two weeks, the men would switch to the opposite diet. This is typically called a crossover trial or a crossover study because you might be thinking, well, maybe the guys who they put on a vegetarian diet didn't smell as good before and the meat eaters smelled better or vice versa in the first place. And so this maybe just isn't even a good study. So what they did was they had all the men go on a vegetarian diet for two weeks and then they'd switch over and go on a meat-based diet or vice versa. So some would be on the one and then they would switch to the other and they were all smelled afterward or they would actually smell them twice so they could find out when did they smell better on a meat-based diet or on a plant-based diet. Well, the women were asked to rate the pleasantness intensity and that intensity is like, ooh, they, that's an intense smell. Uh, that's what it means for intensity. The women were asked to rate the pleasantness, intensity, attractiveness, and masculinity of the men. And who were judged more attractive? When the men were on the vegetarian diet, they were considered more attractive more pleasant and less intense. You say, okay, okay, so men, if they get off of meat, they end up smelling better to women than when they eat meat. But you're saying, but Chad, you left out the masculinity, right? Maybe they at least esteem them more masculine and therefore they end up being more attractive anyway, right? Well, it turns out that actually there was no difference in masculinity. So eating meat does not make a man smell more masculine than just eating plants. And these were the same guys either way. So when a man eats meat and when he doesn't eat meat, he smells better when he's on a plant-based diet. This isn't the only study that's been done on this. This one was tweaked, not exactly totally plant-based, but diet quality and the attractiveness of the male body. This particular study also found that men who ate more plant food smelled better to women but it was specifically when they ate fruits and vegetables. Getting closer to a whole food diet instead of refined junk food actually makes people smell better. It's interesting that people smell better and are healthier the closer they get to eating whole healthy plant foods. And you may have also heard of the research that revealed that the pigmentation of the skin changes based upon the carotenoids or certain antioxidants that are found in plant foods. And so not only do people smell better when they eat a diversity of plant foods, but it turns out they actually look healthier and more attractive. 
one of the things about this last study, apparently the men actually thought they smelled better when they ate meat. The women, they think otherwise. <laughs> so if you want to smell better, if you want to even look better, you can simply eat plant food and it may help you just exude an attractive presence. Now, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share it with your friends. God bless and have a fantastic day.